Hey everybody, happy Monday to you. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I am super stoked to share with you guys a large PSA bulk grading order I just got back in. This is one I sent off like, gosh, four or five months ago at least. Um, it's maybe three months ago, but it's been quite a while that PSA has had this order. And I got 102 cards back, and most of these were cards that I bought from a guy that came into my shop. He brought a bunch of old vintage cards from the late 50s and early 60s, including a, quite a few 1962 Topps Commons. So I sent a lot of them off to get graded, and I'm going to show you guys what I got today. So we got five boxes from PSA, 102 cards total, and we will start with box number one out of five we will go one box at a time and i'll try to show y'all what we got here all right, all right card number one is a roy face 1961 tops excellent five nice card for a 1961 tops roy face was a pretty decent pitcher back in the day Card number two is a 1962 Topps Roy face. Uh, again, Roy was a pretty good pitcher back in the day. Let's see if I can get this here. I want to bring this back up. Just to, There we go. Just want to make sure you guys can see these in the video. So a 1962 Topps Roy face, excellent mint six. 1962 Topps Billy Williams, very good, excellent four. It's got the uh, rookie trophy on there. Nice card. Got a Hoyt Wilhelm, 1960 tops, and a very good three. Got kind of a Dean corner there, so didn't come back too high on that one. But it's still a good card of a Hall of Famer. Hoyt Wilhelm. Kind of cool. All right, then we got another Hall of Famer. 1962 tops Don Drysdale and a very good excellent four pretty nice for a Hall of Fame pitcher Dodgers then we got one of my favorites Babe is a boy this is in the 1962 tops set where they put out these cards uh, Babe Ruth special uh, pictures of Babe as a boy so you can see I believe that's probably Babe right there but this came back as a very good excellent four 1962 Tops Rocky Colavito. I believe Rocky is also a Hall of Famer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's also in the Hall of Fame. It's a very good, excellent four. 1962 Tops Checklist, number 177 to 264, and an excellent five. Nice card. 1962 Tops Daryl Spencer, very good, excellent four. Nice back, nice centering. 1962 tops, Johnny Keene in an excellent Met 6. Also a very nice back. He's a great manager for the St. Louis Cardinals. 1960 tops, Gil Hodges. That's in a very good three. 1960 Tops, Gil Hodges. 1962 Tops, Johnny Keene, and a very good, excellent four. Now, this one was a little disappointing, but it's still a great card nonetheless. Uh, 1962 Post Serial, Roger Maris, hand cut, blank back. So this came on the Post Serial boxes back in the early 60s. And this one did not get a grade, but it came back as authentic. So I guess it was so poorly cut that they wouldn't grade it. But it did come back as authentic. Roger Maris. 1960 Tops, Ed Matthews, and a good two. It has a crease right there in the right-hand corner, if you can see that. Still a great card of a great Hall of Famer, Milwaukee Braves. See the back there? Ed Matthews, nice card. 
1962 tops, Camilio Pasqual. Very good, excellent four. Nice card. 1962 tops, Tom Parsons, and a very good, excellent four. Nice back. 1962 Tops Braves backstops, Joe Torrey and Del Crandall. That's in an excellent five, which is a decent grade. Braves backstops. Beautiful card. Got another Braves backstops. And this one's in a very good, excellent four. Then there's great Hall of Famer. One of the greatest players of all time, Roberto Clemente, and a very good three. Got some, got some staining on the card. That's probably why the grade went down. But who cares if you get a three if it's a Hall of Famer like Roberto Clemente? Got a little bit of wear on the back. But overall, a beautiful card for a Hall of Famer. 1962 tops of Bob Clemente, very good three. Then we got a 1962 Tops, another great Hall of Famer, Hank Aaron, and a very good, excellent four. And this one is miscut. So actually, if you get a four and it's miscut, they drop it down two grades. So really, it's like a good two. But it came back as a very good, excellent four miscut. Still a great card for a Hall of Famer. All right, so that's box number one, guys. All right. Let's go to box number two. Hope nobody's in a hurry because it's going to take a little while to go through all these. All right. Okay, got a 1961 Fleer, Rick Farrell, and an excellent Mint 6. Nice 61 Fleer baseball greats. Nice subset back in the day. 1961 Fleer, Chick Galloway. That is in a very good, excellent four. Nice back. 1960 Tops, Art Dittmer. Dittmer. Beautiful card, nice, nice color. That's in a very good, excellent four. 1961 Tops, Jim Brewer, 1961 Rookie, very good, excellent four. 1961 Fleer, Billy Evans, very good, excellent four. 1962 Tops, Checklist, number 265 through 352, very good, excellent four. 1962 Tops, Dan Dobick, very good, excellent four. Nice coloring, nice centering on that card. 1959 Tops, Sandy Koufax, and a 1.5 fair. So not a good grade, but uh, still a great Hall of Fame player. It's hard to go wrong with a Hall of Fame player, even a lower grade. So, Sandy Koufax, 1959 Tops, and a 1.5. 1962 Tops, Sandy Koufax, another Hall of Fame card. Very good, excellent four. Beautiful card, good centering. A little bit off cut on the top to bottom, but overall a good card. 1962 Tops, Al Kaline, and a very good, excellent four. Beautiful card. 1962 Tops, Ed Matthews, and a very good three. Nineteen sixty two Tops, Hall of Famer, Billy Martin, and a very good, excellent four. Back when Billy played baseball instead of managed baseball. Another Hall of Fame, Billy Martin card, 1962 tops, also in a very good, excellent four. 1960 tops, Billy Martin, in a very good three. That's an iconic card right there, 1960 tops. 
1961 Fleer, Lou Boudreau in an excellent mint six. Baseball greats, Lou Boudreau, Louise Boudreau. 1961 Fleer, Rogers Hornsby in an excellent mint six. Nice card, good coloring, good centering. 1960 Tops, Ed Matthews in an excellent five. That one came back pretty good. Ed Matthews, Hall of Famer. 1962 Tops, Ron Santo in a very good, excellent four. Very nice card, Ron Santo. One of the greatest of all times, 1962 Tops, Willie Mays in a very good, excellent four. Decent centering on this card. Condition is not great, but hard to go wrong with a Willie Mays. Very good, excellent four. Last but not least for box two, 1962 Tops, Stan Musial in a very good three. So overall, I'm, I'm semi-satisfied with those grades. Uh, would have loved to get higher grades, but, you know, considering I bought this off the streets, bought these cards off the streets from a guy, I think we did pretty well. All right, so box number three. Nineteen sixty two tops, Joe Adcock, very good, excellent four. Nineteen sixty two tops, Robin Roberts and an excellent five. Nineteen sixty two tops, Norm Sherry and an excellent five. Nineteen sixty two tops, Ford tosses a curve, Whitey Ford and an excellent five. Nice card. Nineteen sixty two tops, Maris Blast sixty first home run and a very good excellent four. That is an iconic card right there. Where Roger Maris broke the home run record in nineteen sixty one. Nineteen sixty two tops, World Series Game Two, Jay ties it up. Very good, excellent four. 1962 tops, Bobby Tiefenauer in an excellent five. 1962 tops, Walt Alston in a very good, excellent four. 1962 tops, Ike DeLock in an excellent five. Another 1962 tops, Ike DeLock in an excellent five. 1961 Fleer, Dixie Walker, and a very good, excellent four. Baseball greats. 1961 Fleer, Ross Young, and an excellent 5.5. You don't see that grade very often, a 5.5. 5. 1961 Fleer, Luke Sewell, and an excellent five. Baseball greats. 1961 Fleer, Billy Sullivan, in an excellent five. 1961 Tops, Earl Robinson, in a very good, excellent four. 1960 Tops, Billy O'Dell, in a very good, excellent four. Giants pitcher. 1960 Tops, J.C. Martin. Photo is Gary Peters. I guess that's an error card. J.C. Martin, Gary Peters. That's in an excellent five. 1962 Tops, Jackie Brandt in a very good, excellent four. 1962 Tops, Herb Score in a very good, excellent four. Last but not least for box three, 1962 tops, Mike McCormick, and a very good three.
And all these cards will be available if you are interested. I will have all these available for purchase in my shop, American Dream Sports Cards in Haltom City. Um, or I'll also have them on my eBay store, which is American underscore Dreams underscore Sports Cards underscore 74. And uh, I'll have all these listed in the next few days. So check them out. Box number four, 1962 Tops, Carl Sawatsky, very good, excellent four. 1962 Tops, J.C. Martin with the rookie, rookie Trophy, very good, excellent four. 1962 Tops, Jim Pagliaroni, very good, excellent four. 1962 Tops, Tony Taylor, and a very good, excellent four. 1962 Tops, John Demerit, and a very good, excellent four. 1960 Tops, rookie star, Frank Howard. Great Hall of Fame manager, excellent five. Super nice card, Frank Howard, rookie. 1960 Tops, Frank Howard, another excellent five, rookie. Great card, great player. 1960 Tops, Nellie Fox, and a very good, excellent four. 1960 Tops, Billy Martin, and a very good, excellent four, Miss Cut. 1960 Tops, Don Drysdale, and a good two. Got pretty soft corners on that one. But still a great card for a Hall of Famer. 1960 Tops, Al Kaline, All-Star, and a good two. 1960 Tops, Duke Snyder, and a good two. 1960 Tops, Bob Gibson, Hall of Famer, very good three. 1960 Tops, Eddie Matthews All-Star and an excellent five. That's a pretty good grade. 1960 Tops, Richie Ashburn. In an excellent five. Beautiful card. 1960 Tops, Louise Aparicio, and a very good, excellent four. 1960 Tops, early win, very good, excellent four. 1960 Tops, Johnny Antonelli, All-Star, excellent mint six. It's a pretty nice grade for that card. Johnny Antonelli. 1960 Tops, Gil Hodges, Los Angeles Dodgers, and a very good three. Last but not least, 1960 Tops, Bob Rush, and a very good, excellent four. So that's four boxes down. We got one more. And the last box will also have some of the cards that came back as ungraded for whatever reason, either altered, not meeting the minimum size. But if you send off a big order with PSA, you're always going to get some cards back that weren't graded for whatever reason. All right. Box number five. Got a 1960 Tops, Bob Anderson, and a very good three. 1960 Tops, Pete Wisenant, Wisenant, and a very good, excellent four. 
1960 tops, Rocky Nelson in a very good three. Nineteen sixty tops, Jim Brosnan in a very good, excellent four. Nineteen sixty tops, Dutch daughter her daughter, -er, very good three. Nineteen sixty tops, Rocky Bridges and an excellent five. 1960 tops, Roy Face, and a very good, excellent four. 1960 Pirates pitcher. 1960 tops, Joe Cunningham, and an excellent five. St. Louis Cardinals first baseman. 1960 tops, Joe Ginsburg, and a very good, excellent four. 1960 tops, Frank Bauman, and a very good, excellent four. 1960 tops, Earl Batty, and an excellent five. Nice card. 60 tops with just a beautiful design, the way that it was horizontal, laid out horizontally. 1960 tops, Jim Bunning, very good, excellent four. 1960 tops, Bill Mazeroski in a very good, excellent four, miscut. Bill Mazeroski, a Hall of Fame player, right there. 1960 tops, Sammy Taylor, excellent mint six. 1960 tops, World Series game three for really for Rio. Breaks up game, excellent five. Nice card. 1960 tops, Turk Lowen, excellent five. 1960 tops, George Strickland in a very good, excellent four. Then we had a few cards that came back as ungraded for whatever reason, but I'll show you guys those. So we've got a 1962 top switch hitter card, miscut, number 318. That was actually a Roger Mer or Mickey Mantle, which I'm disappointed about. Mickey Mantle card came back, ungraded. 1960 tops, Don Blassing game, miscut. Guess that means it's been trimmed at some point. 1960 tops, Cincy Clouders, Bell, Robinson, and Lynch. Kind of disappointed that didn't grade. And then there's a Babe Ruth card that came back, miscut. Babe Ruth hit 60. 60. And then a checklist it says mini size zero. Mini size required. Mini size required. <laughs> So overall, not bad. I guess we got five cards that were ungraded out of 102. That's pretty good, I'm going to say. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, let me know what you think about my PSA order. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate you guys watching and hope you have a great Monday. Take care. Bye.